Streaming is supported by HBO, presenting Lovecraft Country, nominated for 18 Emmys, including Outstanding Drama Series, Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series for Jonathan Majors, and Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series for Journey Smollett. I'm Eric Galindo. I have a new show. It's called Wild. It's about transformative moments. If you're looking for success to be a cure to your anxiety, you're looking in the wrong place. Listen to Wild by LA Studios, wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, it's Friday, August 20th. I'm Nick Roman with the afternoon edition of the LA Report from KPCC and LAist. Here are the stories we've been following today. You kept that face mask handy, right? That's good because you'll need it if you're at tonight's Dodger game or LA Galaxy match. That's because LA County Public Health's new order took effect just before midnight. It calls for face masks at outdoor events with big crowds, like stadiums, except when you're eating or drinking. And the face mask order means everybody, even if you're vaccinated. Oh, and it also applies to the Hollywood Bowl which will take some of the thrill out of tomorrow night's Sound of Music sing-along. L.A. County Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer says you can blame the Delta variant for all of it. The one thing we know for sure is that when there are high rates of transmission like we have now, it's really sort of the perfect uh, opportunity for this virus to continue to mutate, uh, creating perhaps more dangerous variants of concern. Uh, And everything that we can do to lower transmission at this point is is what we all need to be focused on. Now let's turn to schools, which are just getting into their third year hampered in some way by COVID-19. The Culver City Unified School District announced this week that it will require its older students to get vaccinated against COVID-19. Now, it is one of the first, if not the first, school district in California to require vaccinations for older students. Dr. Timothy Brewer is an epidemiologist and professor of medicine at the UCLA School of Public Health. He says more school districts should do what Culver City Unified is doing. If you want to go to public school in California, by law, you have to show that you've been vaccinated against polio, diphtheria, pertussis, tethys, measles, mumps, rubella, varicella, and hepatitis B. So adding COVID-19 vaccine to that list doesn't, to me, seem unreasonable. Right now, the FDA has okayed COVID-19 vaccines only for young people 12 and older, but it might bring the age down to five by the end of the year. More now on the pandemic and schools. California's vaccine and testing mandate for students, teachers, and staff does not apply to independent child care centers or preschools. But KPCC early childhood education reporter Mariana Dale says some will follow those guidelines anyway. Yvonne Maldonado is a professor of pediatrics and infectious diseases at Stanford. She says providers need multiple safety protocols. Vaccines are first and masks are a very, very close second, if not a co-first. At the Families Forward Learning Center, a preschool in Pasadena, Executive Director Elva Sandoval says all staff are vaccinated and everyone will wear masks inside and outside. It was important for us as an early childhood care center because we were going to be working with Um, children that cannot be vaccinated for us to create the safest environment for our staff. She says when preschool starts next week, they will encourage any unvaccinated families to get the COVID shot too. Covering early childhood, I'm Mariana Dale. And Mariana will have more details about COVID-19 in preschool and child care in a story airing Monday. Now, to the third shot of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines that the CDC is recommending for anyone with a compromised immune system. Riverside County is offering that third shot at public health mobile clinics. Dr. Jeffrey Leung is Riverside County's public health officer. He says that third shot is limited to only a few. This in particular includes uh, individuals who may be receiving active cancer treatment, who have had uh, an organ transplant, uh, people who may have advanced or untreated HIV, uh, people who may have a primary immunodeficiency, um, or people who are on high-dose long-term corticosteroids or other immunosuppressive medications. Dr. Jeffrey Leung, the public health officer in Riverside County, he says if you have questions about whether you need that third shot of vaccine, talk with your doctor. Unemployment numbers now for the month of July. L.A. County was down to 10.4 percent seasonally adjusted. Now that sounds high, but it was above 18 percent back in July of 2020. 
Riverside and San Bernardino counties had July unemployment rates right around 8 percent, down more than five percentage points from a year earlier. Orange County was down to 6.3 percent. That's nearly half what it was in July last year. Now, one note about that 8 percent jobless rate in Riverside County, it is not distributed equally across the county. For example, it's above 14 percent in Coachella, so the recovery is somewhat uneven. Thanks for listening to the L.A. Report. I'm Nick Roman. Join us next time for another L.A. Report. This program is made possible in part by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people. 